Hello, welcome back for another amazing workout. If this is your first time here, I'm Jessica. I will be your certified personal trainer today. We are going to be doing a great workout focusing on developing upper body strength, toning those upper body muscles, as well as developing strength through the rotator cuff muscles and the low back. Everything today will be low impact and easy to modify if the moves are not right for you. The only thing that you need for this workout is your chair your long loop band if you do not have one don't worry I still have you covered a short loop band or a set of dumbbells will work in just fine copy the moves as we go along with this long band do not forget to click that subscribe button other than that we are ready to get into this workout We're gonna start here in the chair, band across the lap, or if you have dumbbells underneath the chair, I want to stretch out and warm up this upper body before we get into the work. Nice, good, deep breath in here. Stretch those hands to the front and exhale. Just open those arms. Feel a stretch build through the chest all the way out, down those arm muscles, into the fingers. Keep the shoulders out of the ears and pull those core muscles in underneath the rib cage over the hips great job here lower those hands on down take the head over to the right shoulder inhale bring it back up and off to the left side let's go back over to the right side and take that left arm up overhead look down towards the floor take that arm back down Swing the chin on over, left side with the head. Draw this right arm up, look down for the floor here on the left. Drop that right arm on down, half circles here. Great job here. Send the body forward, pull those core muscles in, get them engaged. We want them working through this whole workout today. We're going to take the right arm up, swing that left arm back, nice and easy. They pass through the center, open up on the other side. One more time, taking these arms separate. Switch them nice and smooth. Great job, bring them down here. Reach them out as you arch that back and stretch those fingertips to the front. Inhale, stretch those arms up and back. Aiming to get the biceps near the ears, but also keeping the shoulders down. So go however far feels good in your body today. Our movements do not have to look the same. Everybody's flexibility is a lot different through the upper bodies. If yours is bigger or smaller, that's okay. Allow it to be your workout here today. Open those arms out to the sides, bring the body back up. Light tilt of the chin up, stretching through the fronts of the neck, the shoulders and the chest here. Drop those arms all the way down. Step this left leg out, sweep that right arm all the way forward, really stretch and reach open up those back muscles, bring it back in. Left leg comes in, right leg comes out, left arm reaches out to the side this time. Open up those back muscles, bring it back in to the front. Great job here, right away. Grab your band, your short band, your long band, your dumbbells, whatever you're working with today. Like I said, I got you covered with whatever you have. Give it a nice grip here. Fold the thumbs over, fold those fingertips over the top. Let's go ahead, take them out to the front with the elbows right at the rib cage. Squeeze them in towards the center, neck nice and tall. Right arm comes out to the side, release it. Slow and smooth, great job. Right away, working on these external rotators. If you need more work, shorten up that band. And if this is just a little too challenging for what feels comfortable for you today, give yourself more band to work with and release some of that tension. That works through all of our exercises here today if you're using the band. You have the ability to control resistance really easy here. Great 
job with this move. This is not an easy exercise. It builds very quickly here. Beautiful. Take it on in and let's go ahead. Release that band, fold it over to the top. Take those arms out to the sides and just give me a nice pulse here. I want that band right at about shoulders distance. You feel tension and then pulse from there. If you need to lighten up the work, just don't pull as far. I'm not releasing all the way back to no tension. I'm staying right here, right in this tension zone. Great job here. We're going to build on this just a little bit. Pull that band back towards the chest by pulling the elbows back, squeezing those back muscles together, tucking those hips forward, engaging through the core here. So I'm not pulling by bouncing my rib cage and chest forward. I'm using the arms and the back muscles here. My core is staying nice and tight, developing strength through the abs here, protecting that low back, as well as giving that back some good supporting strength. The stronger the core muscles get, the less that low back has to work. I'm sure you're feeling those shoulders here. <laughs> Great job. Let's go ahead, finish out this one here and turn those palms back up. Grab that band, slide those elbows back in towards the rib cage. Give them a little bit of a squeeze there and you guessed it, left hand out to the side. Release it slow. Very good. Stay tall and lengthened through the spine all the way from the tailbone up to the top of your head here. You're gonna feel both arms working here. This is a good deal of work for both arms, your anchoring and your moving arm. Let yourself develop strength here, but if you need a modification or if you need to release some of that work, that's okay. You can definitely back off of it for a couple of them and come back to a tighter band if you feel ready for that. Beautiful job there. Go ahead, let's take one more here, smooth and steady. Release that on in, give those arms a shake. I feel it too. Great job here. Hands come out to the front, palms down this time. We're gonna open the right arm back and then the left. You have an anchor arm. Both arms are working here. If this is uncomfortable having the hands and arms at shoulder height, you can definitely modify by taking it just that little bit lower. Find spacing and form that works for you. Beautiful job here. Nice and easy. Really working on those back muscles here today. Working on rotator cuff muscles. We want everything nice and strong, especially as we are increasing our upper body workouts. And as you guys are getting strong in the bigger muscle groups, I wanna make sure that the back muscles and these rotator cuff muscles are ready to support your increases in strength in your workouts and in your daily life. Very good. Sometimes it really comes down to the small things. Although as we're moving here, I'm sure that this doesn't feel like a small thing. Last one here. Great job, release that nice and easy. Turn those palms up. Last time you will see this today, I promise. Give yourself a little bit more slack in your band. Hug those elbows into the front of the rib cage here. Give that a light squeeze and let's pull both of those arms here together. They get to work together this time on this last set. Spine nice and tall. Try not to slouch forward. Great job. Core muscles pulled up and in. So imagine pulling your belly button in towards the back of your chair and then giving it a light squeeze there. Make sure that you are tucking that tailbone forward, that you're not pushing the rib cage forward. Great job here. Let's keep going. Keep squeezing those elbows in. If you get out here, 
you're gonna lose a little bit of that work in the rotator cuff. We have to turn off some of the more dominating muscles in this movement. We do that by tucking them in and giving those elbows a squeeze in. This movement will feel completely different once you turn off those dominant muscles. Good job here. We can really work on those smaller ones. I know, last one here. I promise you won't see it again today. Good job, release those hands. If those fingers are getting stiff, just give them a little bit of a shake here. Take this band back out to the front. We're gonna raise it, not shoulder height, just slightly above. We're gonna pull this right arm down. I want you to imagine this elbow coming down towards the back of your chair. Really feel the shoulder blade pull in towards the spine. Really common to start bouncing through the core and the trunk of the body here. Hold it nice and static, nice and tight. Develop good core stability control and strength through this movement. Only the arm is moving, only this right arm. Left arm is holding you nice and strong. Back muscles are working, core is working. Great job. Before we can talk ourselves out of it, let's switch it on over to that left side. Nice, easy pull here. Same exact thing, use those core muscles. You should feel them working right now. Very good. You have a lot going on in this movement. You are doing wonderful. If you need a modification, if you need to give yourself more band and back off of some of the work, that's okay. Take that here when you need it. Maybe just a quick little break and you come back to it nice and strong and you're able to shorten up that band again. Wherever you are working, focus on good form and developing strength here. Don't worry about being hard on yourself. Beautiful, last little bit here. Let's take this one and release that nice and slow. Same thing here if they need a break. Give them a quick little shake. We are going to take this band back behind us. If you have a chair like mine where you have openings, you can definitely anchor it through the back of it. Not totally necessary though. Get those sides open, lean back on this band. Hands are gonna come out and we're gonna stretch them up together towards the center. Good, more band is going to be less work. Shorter band, little more work. So you find the resistance that works for you. You're gonna feel those chest muscles working here. Great job. Smooth and steady here. I am leaning back on the back of my chair. I just wanna make sure that this band doesn't come flying up. Beautiful, great job here. Let's take just a few more of these. Now you're gonna feel the shoulders. You will feel those chest muscles working. Little bit of a break from our tall seated posture here for the low back. Little bit of a break for those core muscles too. Last one here. Beautiful job, bring it in release it on down. Release tension from that band. Slide those hips back. This time we are leaning against the back of the chair, but I want you a little bit taller, so not so leaned back. Shorten up those hands right in front of the waist. This isn't a big movement, so I, I promise this won't be crazy difficult. Hold those core muscles up and in. Stretch those arms forward. Thumb is on top fingers around the band. Great job here. Smooth and steady. All of these muscles are working. We're not directly targeting the biceps or the triceps today, but they both work with shoulder and elbow flexion and extension. So you are working them today, even though we don't have exercises solely focused on them. They are showing up through all of these movements here today. 
Each exercise that we have done involves multiple muscle groups. Great job. I like to bounce back and forth between targeting them directly and including them in group exercises. I think it gives us really well-rounded strength as well as a variety in how those muscles are trained. Great job here. Wonderful, stay nice and strong. And go ahead and release that on down. We are going to take this band out from back behind us. Go ahead here, step those feet on it, anchoring down underneath the soles of the feet. If you have dumbbells, the movements are gonna be the same. You do not need to worry about the feet. If you have a loop band, you will not be anchoring under the feet. You'll just be working here and using your non-working arm to anchor that band. If you have handles, or slots to put those hands you can definitely grab through there or you can just grab over the top of this band all right let's get to the workout here we go stretch this right arm forward turn yourself slightly to the left you're gonna feel those core muscles working here slight rotation make sure that that tailbone is tucked under to keep that low back nice and long Great job here. If you would like more work, shorten up that band. Give yourself less band, more tension to move. If you need a little bit less work, slide one side longer. I'll let you know when we're halfway done. And then work on the other side for the second half. Great job here, keep going. Smooth pace, pay attention to that low back. How does it feel? Is it nice and happy? Everything feels good and comfortable. Make sure you are halfway done with this one. So if you are working with a long band on just the right or the left side, switch it over now. Great job here. Make sure those shoulders are staying out of the ears. Tailbone is tucked under. Feel your core muscles working here. Take your time with this movement. Don't rush right past the work. If you go really fast, you might only have to do 25% of the work, but you're already here. You might as well slow down, get all of the work, build all of that beautiful strength and tone for these muscle groups. He definitely didn't come here to save work today. Beautiful, nice and smooth. Little rotation through the core here, as big or as small as what feels comfortable and safe for you. We're here with this one for a little while. If you need to at any point, ease up a little bit, give yourself more band to work with. You're doing a wonderful job here. Release that band slow. Remember you move the band. The band does not move you. Last one here. You're doing great. I feel it too. Take it on in. Now, still anchored under those feet go ahead take those handles here to the center if you are working with a dumbbell you'll take both dumbbells if you're working with a short loop band you may want to put the band up over the legs and just work with one arm or switch to dumbbells you will find a way to make it work i promise hold both ends of your long band if that's what you have here we're going to bicep curl and press out to the right bring it back to the center release bicep curl press out to the left you are going to feel those core muscles working here out and in beautiful job here up 
send it out and in the movement is so small that that turn and press that little bit of a turn it's so tiny you do not need to make it really big here to feel those core muscles activate and kick in beautiful job here you're definitely gonna feel the shoulders and the biceps here great job release now if you are working with one hand on top which chances are if you're holding both hands you probably are switch it on over and let's finish out this last half here I want to make sure that one arm isn't able to pull harder than the other get used to keeping it even in the body release very good draw this up send it out back in and down great job here we have one more set after this one release so we'll go off to the right and the left and then we will move on to our last exercise great job here feel those core muscles working mine are on fire bring it in beautiful job here grab the edges of your band or again if you have handles you can definitely put those hands on through make sure that that band is very secure underneath those feet we are pulling this band up towards us so you do not want to find out the hard way that it was not secure arms come out to the sides pulse it up 45 degrees out and then to the front great job here release it nice and slow to the sides to the front adjust the resistance by adjusting the length of this band tuck that tailbone forward pull those core muscles up and in forward movement is going to be a little bit easier than that outward movement just because there's little more length in the band widen out those feet nice good base to work from here you're doing an amazing job stay here stay nice and strong with me we have just a few more and then we'll hit some stretches get these muscles feeling good again and then you'll be on to the rest of your day last one here bring it up release it on slow release tension from that band step off of it nice and easy and just go ahead get that out of the way right away drop those shoulders from the ears I did get a special request for eagle arm stretching so I am going to throw that in here we're gonna inhale take those arms all the way up exhale draw those elbows down and we'll slide this left elbow in over towards the right side right hand comes over the top of it elbow to elbow here close the backs of the hands together I'm going to turn to the side so you see what I've got going on if you are able to take a full bind of the palms here you can definitely do that but trust me plenty of stretch with the backs of the hands together just like this great job drop those elbows down towards the chest tuck the chin and lower just a little bit here feel the backs and the tops of the shoulders opening up here inhale send those elbows up very good take the gaze up don't open and arch through the back release those hands on cross them here open them out to the side I hope that that felt amazing inhale take them all the way up exhale drop those elbows down now this time right arm will sweep over to the left left elbow will cross to the top backs of the hands together drop them on down great job here 
As you breathe here, let your lungs do the work for you. So as you take a nice, good, deep breath in, feel those lungs expand, open those back muscles, and exhale to release, inhale, take those arms up. No arching through the back here. Open them out to the sides, release them down. Wiggle the fingers down here at the bottom. Take the right ear over to the right shoulder. Really reach this left hand down towards the floor. Up and over, same thing. Left ear to the left shoulder. Reach this right hand down for the floor. Bring it back to the center. Interlace the fingers or touch the fingertips together and stretch it out. Open those back muscles. Inhale. Let's open those palms here. Press back as far as you can without pushing the stomach forward. So keep that rib cage closed. I say it so many times. I really want you to keep this low back safe. Drop it on down. Reach those fingertips for the floor. Lift the chin, lift the chest, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Send those hands back if you are able. Wiggle the fingers there and then release it on down. We did do a little bit of work that involved the low back. So let's go ahead and release that here. Shimmy through those shoulders as you slowly Bring the body back forward. Come here to rest with the forearms on the thighs. If you're feeling tension in the low back, stay here. No need to go any further. If you're here and you're like, ah, I don't feel anything at all, you do have the option to step those feet in and lower the stomach and chest towards the thighs, relaxing the hands down. You need to push those feet into the floor to make sure you have a good counterbalance there. So you do not fold forward right out of the chair. Inhale, roll this spine back up. Great job here today. I know this was different than some of the workouts we have been doing, but different is good. Your body will respond to different. We don't wanna just do the same thing over and over and over again and let the body adapt. We wanna keep it new, interesting, and exciting for us and for those muscles. You have done an amazing job today. I am proud of you for choosing something that supports your health and fitness goals. It will pay off, I promise. I cannot wait for the next workout. Make sure that you are subscribed so that you do not miss it. It is always free to click that subscribe button at the end of any of our workouts here. As always, thank you so much for watching and until I see you again, keep taking good care of yourselves.